And I wanna talk about leaning into this next year. Here we are, we're on the precipice of the holiday season. And then next year, I'm telling you, I believe that there is massive, massive opportunity coming. Massive opportunity coming. If government gets smaller, that means men can get bigger. And that's what I'm excited about because you matter, your marriage matters, your kids matter, your grandkids matter, your business matters, our ministry matters. And I'm telling you, there is a historic opportunity. So I'm gonna give you four things to do to prepare for it. Are you ready to go? All right, here, number one, we're gonna start with prayer. I'm gonna just tell you, pray, pray, pray. Proverbs 19, 21, many are the plans in the mind of a man, but it is the purpose of the Lord that will stand. Proverbs 16, three, commit your work to the Lord and your plans will be established. What I wanna to talk to you about is beginning with listening prayer. As a man, usually the hard thing is there's more opportunity than you can possibly chase. And listening prayer is where you get God's vision. And let me say this, you won't get God's provision until you get God's vision. Until you know what God has you to do, he can't provide for you. So you need to get God's vision. Listening prayer is literally just talking to God and telling him, okay, what do you want me to do? Who do you want me to marry? Do you want me to buy a house, start a company? Where do you want me to work? Where do you want me to go to church? Father, what do you want for your son? And I would make this very, very practical. The way I do this is I, uh, I have a journal and I turn my phone off and I turn my soul on. I'll schedule a day on the calendar and I'll literally start writing out weeks or months in advance. Here's the things I wanna meet with my heavenly father and just ask him about. And I'll just start, right, okay, I'm gonna ask him about, you know, whatever it is that is on my heart or mind. And then I will set that day on the calendar. I will fast and pray. I'll tell a few good buddies, hey, I'm taking a day with the Lord just to listen and pray. And I'll go off to a quiet place. For me, it's usually in the woods and somewhere in God's creation. And I'll just pray and listen and write down what I'm thinking or sensing. Usually there are some questions that get clearly answered. Other questions, God says, I'll answer those later. But usually out of those times, I have a sense of clarity. So for example, I've got a time that is coming up and I'm gonna be asking God for next year. Okay, God, Trinity Church belongs to you. Um, I'm the senior pastor. Uh, you are the Lord and Savior. So what do you want for your church? And I'm asking him, and I would ask you to ask him, I'm asking for real estate. I'm asking for room for 1,000 or 2,000 men every single week so we can welcome more men to the kingdom of God and activate them so that our nation and our culture has a future. I'm gonna have a list of things I'm asking him about. What do you have for my family, for our kids, for our grandkids, for our marriage? I'm married to your daughter, she's my wife. Like, what else do I need to know so that I could do a better job loving and leading her next year? So I'm gonna have this long list of questions and I'm gonna spend a lot of time listening. And I would encourage you men, start with prayer. Start by listening. Start by bringing your request before the Lord, asking him, Father, is it time for me to start that business? Is it, start, is it time for me to seek that promotion? Is it time for me to buy that house? Is it time for me to marry that girl? Is it time for us to have those kids? Is it time for me to activate in that ministry? Lord, these are the things on my heart. Meet with your father and listen. And then if you hear, obey. But the good news is this, once you hear from him, you'll have his vision, then you'll receive his provision. If he's calling you to do something, he's gonna help you to achieve it. In the same way, how many of you are dads? Dad, I've got five kids. I, I've asked this many times, but how many of you, if your son came to you and said, dad, I really wanna run some things by you because I respect you. If there's any directives you would have for me, I will obey you. And I'm asking if I seek to do what is right, will you help me? Answer? every time. So be that son, be that son. Too often times men make plans and then pray that God would bless their plans. Pray for God's plans. You know that he's gonna bless the plans that he gives, amen? Thanks for joining me. My name is Pastor Mark. I've been teaching the Bible for more than three decades and head on constant collisions with woke culture. And I would love to get you more Bible teaching. Two things you can do, go ahead and watch the sermon in total and also subscribe to the channel. And I'll just keep sending you Bible teaching and we'll have a lot more fun together.